Today, I'm gonna to show you how we can build a scraper that will scrape Google search results to get us URLs from LinkedIn in bulk and then take that scraper and then host it on Appify. This will allow us to run our scraper with proxy servers so we don't get banned by Google and also so you can deploy your own scraper and host it on Appify and you can even make money off of it if people use your scraper. We're gonna learn how to build a scraper with Python and Beautiful Soup and also how to deploy scrapers to Appify so we can start collecting tons of great LinkedIn data from Google for free. And like I said, if you make this scraper, you can deploy it. And if people on Appify use this, you can even make some money from it. Before I get into it, if you want to work with me in any kind of AI or automations project, make sure to book a free time with me down in the description below. But anyway, let me show you how this tool works. So to show you how this scraper works, what we're going to do is head on over to Appify. You can find the link in the description below. I have this scraper hosted on Appify so you guys can use it and test it out for yourself. But all you have to do is come on over. So in this case, we wanna find people that have food, chief financial officer, and also are in the United States, and then the amount of pages we wanna scrape. I'm gonna set it as 10 for now. Then all I have to do is just click on start. And then once it's ready to go, it'll head on over here and it will run the actor for us. It'll go through all of the URLs. It'll print out all of them here. And then it will also push all the found URLs to our output. We head on over to the output tab here. We have 104 LinkedIn URLs right here. Click on the first person here. You'll see we have Sarah Jefferson, who is the chief financial officer at Food. Doesn't get more targeted than that. But yeah, so you can come in here, use a scraper, and you can export all these to you know wherever you want. JSON, CSV, Excel, all that good stuff there. Let's give this one more shot. If we go into import here, let's change this from food to like, let's do like law, attorney, and Florida. And then let's change this to like 30 pages. And let's save this and start this. Let's see if we can get a bigger list here. There we go. It is grinding through URLs and then a little bit later after the last URL it'll hopefully push all the information to the export tab there we go push 304 profiles if we come on over here we have all of them here and if we check out the first people we've got yeah Florida who is an attorney look at that eh, fantastic and we have 300 LinkedIn profiles right here that we can go through and use the information if you like seeing this demo make sure to give this video a like and let's get into the build. So we're going to start over on google.com here and you'll see I have this special URL which allows me to only search Google for specific LinkedIn URL links. You notice if we put in site colon linkedin.com slash in slash this search result will only bring up URLs that match this URL right here. So we're only going to get results for our search result that are LinkedIn profiles which means we can then take this search result scrape the page and only only get LinkedIn URLs when we scrape the page. And then we can even take this one step further and narrow down our search by these keywords. So we can add in these keywords here, like chief product officer in the United States that works in automotive, and it will only show us people that have those keywords. So we can filter down our search. You can see we get almost 2000 results right here. So we're gonna wanna start with this page in order to get our scraper working. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Google site URL and I'm gonna build out this scraper all with AI and chat GPT. So I'm going to come on over to chat GPT and I'm going to come into here. So I'm going to say, can you make me a BS4 Python script to scrape this URL and print any linkedin.com slash in slash URLs found on the page to a text file. And then I'm going to put in the URL that we just got from Google. So first it tells us we need to install beautiful soup and request if we don't have it already. I'm going to copy this, come on over to VS code. I have a fresh terminal here. I'm going to make a new script called linkedin.py. And then in my terminal here, I'm just going to make a new request here to make sure we have that installed. I think that, yeah, I've already got these packages installed. And now we can come over here and let's take our script. Let's copy this right here. I'll come back over here. And if we kind of look through it, it says we need to put in our URL right here. So I'm going to just do this and I'll come back over here and then I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put our URL right in there. Awesome. So now if we run this, let's see what we get. Okay, sweet. So we get a list of stuff like this and it's only links that have URLs like this. So it's, you can see we have linkedin.com. Uh, we have a lot of stuff here that we don't actually need. So we want to actually filter this result a little bit more. So we only get these profiles right here. So let's take this entire results here. I'm gonna come back over to ChatGPT. So I'm gonna say, this is an example of the result that I get. Can you filter this so it only returns the LinkedIn user links like this? 
And then I'm gonna come on over here and I'm going to grab an example of what a LinkedIn URL would look like. So it kind of has a better idea of what to filter out here. And then hopefully it will redo the script to find a better way of extracting the links. Yeah, so it uses the RE module, which is another module we're gonna use to filter out the specific links. I'm gonna copy this section of the code. I think the rest of the stuff is pretty similar, yeah. So now we can just replace this in here. And now if we keep our link in here and give this another run, let's see what we get. Interesting, no LinkedIn profiles found. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is actually take this and I'm gonna paste it back into ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, can you edit this? So it filters out the links and returns everything before the and symbol and then put the link in there like that. We need to adjust the way it fetches the right URLs because I don't think it's parsing it correctly. It might be a little bit off. So let's try this new one out here. I'm gonna slap that in there. All right, sweet, look at that. So now with that little change, we now have a scraper here to scrape URLs based off of Google search results. So let's do a little bit of editing to this result here. So we wanna make this kind of dynamic so we can put in our different keywords here in kind of like an array so that we can easily filter out the kinds of information that we want. I'm going to get rid of this part of the URL. I'm pretty sure if we get rid of all of this and we go to this URL here, this this is just the base URL. I think this should still work and give us the correct information. Yeah, so like we can shorten this URL so it's just the beginning part and then we can add in our keywords based on our search query here. So we're gonna say this, we're gonna take our code, I'm gonna put it back in a chat GPT. So can you edit this so the link is dynamic and the keywords are in an array and they are added to the query like the current URL is shown. They need to be in the exact format, just make an array where I can add the keywords and then add them to the URL. URL, and then it will scrape that URL. So let's check to see if this works. I'm gonna copy your new scraper here. Let's console along the URL. Actually, we can't console. We need to print the URL though, because we're in Python here. So we'll print the URL as well. And now let's scrape this. Awesome. So now if I were to put something like insurance in here, so we can kind of see we have these URLs here. If I were to put that in there, we get different people. If we check these out here, these should be people in, yeah, insurance. So they are in insurance and they're also product officers. Awesome. Now let's try to format this and put this into Appify and we can get it running. And then what we'll do from there is we'll have it iterate on all the URLs. I don't wanna actually run that on my computer because if we try to go through all the different URLs in a quick succession, we will get punished by Google. The Google gods will come and rain their wrath on us. So let's transfer this over to Appify. So we're gonna say, how can you adapt this to work inside this script and push the results? And before we send this, let's get an example script of beautiful soup that we're gonna use as our base script. So if we head on over to Appify here, I'm in my Appify dashboard, we're gonna come up to develop new here, and then we're gonna wanna make our new Appify scraper and that's going to be using start with python with beautiful soup we're going to use this template and now in our source code here we kind of have like a mini structure onto how this works so we're going to feed this into here and then we're going to see what comes out of it i want to see if we can get it to where when we run this script it'll then output those domains to our thing Okay, this wasn't that right. Let's try this again, but let's just try a regular ChatGPT instance. All right, right, so okay, I guess that seems to be working better. This is fine, yeah, so let's take our script here that we just got. So I just put in this example script from Beautiful Soup and then put the one that we made from Beautiful Soup both into ChatGPT and said to use that one, but put it in here. I'm gonna just paste our new script in here. And then to get stuff to work on here, we're gonna wanna save and build this. So Appify has their own kind of code base on how people can build stuff to push out information the scrapers get from it. <clears throat> you can read up on the docs if you want, but from my experience, what I've done is I've always take the base script it gives me and then iterate and change on it from there. That's just kind of my process and how I've gone about doing this in order to get it to work. But now that it's done here, uh, let's give it a shot. So we have it built, let's start this. If we give it a run here, we'll see in our Appify login. Okay, so we get an error. Actor was not initialized, okay. Interesting, so let's copy this over and I'll paste this back into ChatGPT and we'll see what we get. 
Let's try this. Rewrite the code with the changes and we'll see if this works or not. All right, let's try this out. So we're gonna put this back in here, save build and start. So the build went well, that's good. And starting, no link profiles found. So it did work, but it didn't find any profile. So let's take this and then we'll say this. Why didn't this find any profiles? But this script did. What's the difference and fix it? Okay, so I think the issue is coming from the HTTP X in here. We'll say change it to use requests instead. And I'll come to the code and I'll put this in here. We'll modify it to use requests. All right, so we have some changes here that we're gonna use and we'll try this one out. Cause all we're really trying to do is to get the scraper that we just built on our local machine and try to deploy it on Appify. So we can use the same frameworks that their machines use and then just kind of transfer it over into the actor language. The only really difference between this and what's happening on my machine is it uses this Appify actor. It basically runs the actor, which is their servers and then tells it where to put the information, which is like the actor that spits out the information. If that makes any kind of sense. Let's give this another shot though. I don't think this will work because we don't have requests installed. Yeah, son of a bitch. Okay, we don't have requests. Yeah, look at that. I'm a fucking genius. All right, we're gonna take this, put this in here, and then I'm gonna take our code and we, in our requirements TX team, I don't actually know what version of requests we're gonna use for this. I think it's like, I don't know, something. So we'll just see what it tells me to do. Right, so we need to adjust the dependencies so we need to install requests as well okay yeah so requests we're gonna take this we're gonna slap that on there save this build and start and let's see what happens doing its building things now we're running usain bolt in this bitch look at this oh my god found 10 linkedin profiles exiting actor we have 10 items let's kind of edit this let's take our main and we'll say can you push these urls individually so they're not in one item because we want them all to be like in an individual item so that we can first of all we can see them and then second of all when we export this data we can get all of the urls Okay, so let's try this out again. If we come into here, save, build, and start. Awesome, there we go. Now we have our 10 URLs all right in here. So now let's make some changes. We wanna do a couple things. So first we want it so that in the inputs tab here, we can actually put in our keywords that we want for our scraper to scrape. So let's do this. Let's take our code here. We need to go through the input schema here. So this input schema, let our scraper know what kinds of inputs we wanna use. So we're gonna take this here. So we're gonna make a new window. I'm gonna put in both the schema and the code here. And then I'm gonna say edit the schema and the script. So it takes in the keywords for the URL. I need to be able to add multiple keywords. This is for Appify. So give me the new schema and script and make the current keywords the defaults if none are given. And let's see what it changes here. Also, oh, it's using the URL as well. That's weird. Remove the base URL from the schema. I just need the keywords. Awesome. So now we have our new updated schema. I will put that in here and then it will also change this so it only uses the keywords from the input. So with a little bit of prompt hackery, we will now check this out. So now we'll take our new script, we'll come back over here, we'll put this in here, and let's give this a save build start. Awesome, we're already off to a flying start here with the schema. So it looks like this is an error. I'll just stick the error back in here. Come on, chat GPT. How dare you give me incorrect answers? Do my bidding, bot. All right, there we go. Check this out. Okay, so now the schema is valid. Fantastic. So the bot has been built, or the scraper, I should say. And we run this, found 10 links, pushed it to the output here. Awesome. So if we head to the input now, and we kind of wait for this to change a little bit. Sweet, so now we can add in our own keywords. If I were to say Chief Finance Officer Automotive, add these keywords in here, and then save this and run this, what would this do instead? Would it give me different URLs? I'm assuming. Ooh, it did. If we get rid of the default, what does this look like? Will this just give me 10 random LinkedIn URLs? Honestly, I'm okay with that. Okay, so we do need... Okay, so now this should work, right? 10 URLs, okay. All right, sweet. So now we're getting people based off our keywords. So this is basically working now. So now we gotta get it to work for all pages. We're gonna take our code. I'm gonna take our input schema. And I'm gonna say, can you edit this to add a pages input? And for every page, add a parameter at the end of the URL for the search URL. It's zero equals start and then zero equals 10, zero equals 20 for every page. So if the user puts in five for the page count, then it scrapes all the URLs on zero, 10, 20, 
30, 40. It starts with zero and goes up by 10 for each page and then returns all the scraped URLs. Edit both of the codes. And then I'm also going to put in the main.py for this one. So hopefully it gives us two different things. It gives us the new schema with the new page input. And then it gives us the new code that takes in that page input and then makes the new parameters at the end of the URL to scrape all of those pages and then put it all into one big output. So I'm pretty sure if we were to go back into our code here, actually this one right here. And if we take our URL right here and let's head on over here. And if we were to add a and start equals 10. Yeah, we're on page two. Look at that. If I were to add add start on page 20, we're on page three now. Same thing with 30 and that'd be page four. So if we put in four, we want it to scrape zero, 10, 20, and 30. So that's kind of the idea with this. And from the looks of it, we're on a roll here. Is that all good to go. It did work. It did look like it worked. Okay, let's check this out. So head over here. Let's put in our new one here. And let's also change this one here into our input schema. Save build start. Let's give this a run, shall we? So it's doing its thing. No errors. There we go. So now we're running to see if it works. And this only should do the first 10 URLs because the default is one. So okay, that seemed to work. So now if we go into here, and let's scrape five pages, save and start found and push 55 LinkedIn profiles individually. So there we go. So now it's getting all the LinkedIn profiles for each page. Looks like some of them even have a couple extra ones, which is really interesting. Wow. Okay, look at that. So now we can add more pages and then add more keywords. So if I want chief financial officer and United States, and we want 10 pages, save and start 100 LinkedIn profiles. Look at that. Boom, 100 people. If we check out our main man here, Chief Financial Officer, Automotive Company. Look at that. I amaze myself every day. Let's edit this a little bit further. So we also want to make sure that we're getting the right URL. So for this, the fetch data profiles, let's also print the URL. So we'll just do a simple print statement here. And we just want the URL. And now if we go into our input and let's do something like, I don't know, food. That's kind of weird, but food is, is will do for now, I guess. So let's say this and start this. Actually, we need to we need to build the code again. Build and start. So now we're gonna build this and start it again with the new changes. All right, there we go. So they're kind of a little bit botched, which is a little funny, but 109, I don't know where it's getting the extra ones from, but I guess we'll take it. But there we go. So now if we check these out, what do we have? Chief Financial Officer at Food. Wow, it doesn't get more specific than that. So if you liked seeing this being put together, make sure to give this video a fat like. It really, really does help me out. I'll have links to where you can get both the individual scraper you can use on your own local machine, plus the Appify script so you can tinker around with it and see how it works for yourself. I'll also have a link to where you can use this scraper on Appify. So if you want to test it out and see how it works live, exactly how I built it here, you can do so over on that link below as well. Once again, if you want to work with me in any kind of AI or automations project, feel free to book a time with me down in the description below. But if you like this automation video, I suggest you go over and watch this video here where I show you how to automate practically anything with NAN bots. It's a really cool video. You're definitely going to learn something. So I'll see you guys over in that video.